Two of them rats last night scurrying around in the attic drove me bloody bonkers. I'm gonna ask him what's the point of having a caretaker if they can't take care of nothing. Hey. You are right, Master B? Hungry. I should have eaten. Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> a conspiracy theory? That's why we're all here? <laughs> Excuse me, Master Bruce. Pardon me, sir. Might I have your name, please? What? Your name, please, sir. Crowley. Mr. Crowley, did your parents ever teach you any manners? I don't have to listen to this. Oh, but you do, sir. That is precisely the point that I am making. Pancakes. Pancakes. Right, once this alarm is set, Master Bruce, no coming downstairs till the morning, is that clear? Yes, but was a new alarm system really necessary? I don't know, was it really necessary offering a challenge to a shadowy cabal? Yes, it was necessary, Master Bruce. you have some ideas? I do. Dancing lessons. Dancing lessons? That's right. I mean, a man of your station should be able to guide gracefully a beautiful young girl across a dance floor, don't you think? And I suppose that you're going to be teaching me these lessons? Well, I certainly could. You know, I was quite well regarded as a bit of a dancer in my day, actually. But I think I'll leave that particular ordeal to someone more qualified. Please don't hurt me. It's good. Ah. One more time, one more time. Ah. And again. Good boy. One more time. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. No, Sorry. it's ab absolutely fine. Let's see if we can do that again. Here I come. Deal. Who taught you how to do that, then? No one. If they did, I... I don't remember. Right, well... Let's see what you got, Sunshine. Here we go again. Here we go. Oh! Well, that's a very nasty scar. Where'd you get that? Or can't you remember? What did they do to you in there? At least I know who I am. Call your boots, Master Bruce. Let's all just take a breath, shall we? Don't worry. You won't be seeing me anymore. Can you smell this? Beg your pardon? Right here. <sighs> what is that? Just a mix of clove, fenugreek, and yarrow root oils. It's lovely. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I need you to tell me something, okay? Anything. Just the spot. Come on. 
Not you, old chap. The prince of Gotham deserves a public death. His butler, not so much. Kill him. No, Bruce! This is what we've been training for. You're gonna be all right in your own. I will see you again. You carry on, son, you carry on. <laughs> Fine! Come on, then! What are you waiting for? You want to rush to die, old man? Who's gonna kill him? Who's gonna do him? I'll do him. Well, what, you three? You three left here to take out the rubbish, were ya? You, Mr. Machine Gun, by the suit of armor, want you to shoot me in a grill, are ya? What about you with a crowbar by the sofa? Gonna cave in my skull? And how about you? Mr. Machete, you're coming in, sunshine. Don't be shy, your mother wasn't. Chop, chop. Who are you talking to, old man? Well, in a couple of days, we'll be back to your old self. I guarantee it. You ready to tell me what happened? When Jerome took me away, I thought they were going to kill you. Shall I tell you what I thought? I thought how proud I was of you. Yes. It felt like justice. There's a very fine line, Master Bruce, between justice and vengeance. I know. But that doesn't mean there isn't one. No, it doesn't. I knew where the line was tonight, Alfred. I didn't cross it. Well, that's the first rule. Never mind what the reason. Never mind what the circumstance. I will not kill. Say it again. I will not kill. And let's get to work. Former mayoral chief of staff Edward Nigma remains at large. Be on the lookout for a green suit. That's right. Good evening, a Alfred. Well, to you, Moss Bruce. Well, you seem remarkably chipper. Things went well with Miss Carl, I take it. <sighs> Selena, Selena. I'll say no more. You spoke. That's all that matters, isn't it? You up for some shepherd's pie then? That sounds delicious. Right, jolly good. Won't be a mo. Selena! Selena, stop! He's not Bruce! She's stop. not Bruce! Oh, dear God. Selena! Selena! She, she attacked me, Alfred. She's out of her mind. She needs a doctor. Sorry, she, she was crazy. Put the iron down, Bruce. I said, put the iron down! Alfred! Where is Bruce? You were always kind to me, Alfred. Even when you thought I wasn't Bruce. Please. Please. Just tell me where Bruce is. He's interrogating Catherine Monroe. Or the woman from the Court of Owls? Yeah. Right. I mean, no, no, not the woman from the Court of Owls. Oh, God, no, not her. Right. Tell me where Bruce Wayne is. Well, I guarantee you'll regret it, Alfred. I've got this. Good cop, bad cop. That routine's a bit tired, isn't it, gentlemen? Yeah, but I'm not a cop, am I? <laughs> I'm a butler. I find this sound and screaming deeply upsetting. It affects my concentration oh! and my grip. Oh! Oh! Self-preservation, is it? That's your game. All right, then, Humpty. I've got a swap seat for you. Down your pop. Your freedom for Bruce Wayne. 
You don't have the authority to let me go. I didn't have the authority just hanging off the side of a bloody building, did I? Hey, see that fire escape over there? That leads directly to the street and to your freedom now. I won't stop you. Bruce Wayne, you know, is gone. His mind is no longer his own. Oh, you're so wrong. You have got no idea how strong that boy is. Now, a man of my word, you can walk. Just as soon as you wake up. I don't know what you mean. Slag. I want to help you. I want to reverse what he's done to you. Bruce, if you press that detonator, there's no coming back. He won't shoot you. He's weak, Bruce. But you are not. Bruce, please. Give me the detonator, son. No, you will press it. It's too late. Come as. Enough. This man is your past, Bruce. He's wrong. Master Bruce, there's no other way to put it. He's wrong. Your destiny is to be Bruce Wayne. And one day you're going to remember that. And you're going to remember how much I love you. I remember the first time your mum and dad brought you home. You were so exhausted. And they gave you to me. So this is what you need to do. Master Bruce, you crack on. You do it. Alfred. It wasn't your fault, was it? I completely lost my way. I've been trying to find who I am for so long, searching for some greater meaning. I don't know who I am, Alfred. You need to find your true north. And let that guide you. What's yours? You. It's always been you. You gotta find something that you really care about. And you protect it at all costs. <laughs> 